Hello, Abraxas here, and I'm going to be playing some Universe Sandbox 2. So I have a suggestion from Kaiser X, and he asked, What would happen if Uranus and Neptune collided? I have done a video on this before, but I, th I thought it'd be kind of fun to revisit. And we do like destruction, so I'm not going to go and put them in their proper orbits. I am just going to put them close to the sun, purely for illumination. So here's Uranus orbiting around the sun. And here's Neptune. So let's go ahead and launch Neptune at Uranus. Just like this. And as you can see, it looks like they use the same texture, it's just rotated around. Which is uh, kind of unrealistic, but whatever. And let's go ahead and slow down time and let's just see what happens. I want it to go a little bit slower than that, but I'll wait for near impact. As you can see, they're actually orbiting faster than uh, they're actually traveling toward each other. You can tell by the... Uh, it's because they're still kind of maintaining their orbit a little bit. Which is, this kind of simulates if they were to, let's say, collide into each other if they crossed orbits. And they were orbiting the same direction, so... Here we go. Uh, no, I'm going to keep the uh, same lighting effect. I don't want to change it to studio. And the collision's about to happen. You can imagine Neptune would be pulling away. They would actually be pulling gas away from each other. From their tidal forces before the impact actually happened. And there's a shadow of Neptune as it comes close to colliding. And here it goes. You see a huge shockwave of just pretty much energy. Probably plasma be shot outwards. These fragments here, they don't really last long enough for me to actually select them though. Could pause the simulation, but I want to keep this going. And we'll use something like that for the thumbnail. <laughs> it's perfect. I can see all the Uranus jokes already. And here they are actually pointing into a single planet. So let's go ahead and just bring this up. They're up to 260 degrees in Celsius, or yeah, 260 degrees Celsius to 80, and it's only going to get hotter. Where is the actual shockwave? I don't see it yet. Let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit. Normally when things collide, they make a shockwave-like texture go across the planet. But it doesn't appear that's actually happening. Hmm, very interesting. And there's a plume of basically remainder like gas and stuff from Neptune. And once these all can join together, it should become about one Neptune more worth of mass, maybe a little bit less. Because a lot of stuff is going to be ejected out completely. And as you can see, it did actually change the orbit a little bit. It kind of made it go on a different orbital path. So let's go ahead and turn this into orbital view. And it's actually quite a bit eccentric now. So, very cool. In this case, it looks like Uranus kept its name, probably because it is the larger object, as I believe this game goes off of. I don't know if it's actually the larger mass, but since it is the larger and radius object, it kept the name Uranus, so Uranus is Victor here. But, for the sake of it, let's throw something like Earth at, let's say, 20 kilometers per second, and see if we can make an awesome looking shockwave. And is it going to make a shockwave? Oh, it did. Look at that. I was expecting this shockwave effect to happen, but I guess it doesn't really happen if you collide two gas giants, perhaps? Not really too sure. Oh, and that heated up the planet a lot more than Neptune did. Very interesting. Maybe because I threw it at a higher velocity. Maybe these effects only happen if you actually throw it at a higher velocity. Not really too sure. Let's go ahead and test that simulation. Let's just uh, get rid of Earth here. Let's add Uranus orbiting the sun. And let's just throw Neptune at it at a higher velocity and see what happens. 
20 kilometers a second, just like Earth. And here we go. Oh, it's actually behind it. Uh, let's back it up a bit. And now let's throw it. So let's go ahead and slow down time, or else we're just going to impact too quickly. And hit play. And this one's going to be a little bit faster. Oh yeah, Uranus definitely got a lot harder that time. Oh, and there is certainly a bigger shockwave. Hmm, so perhaps they just merged kind of... not very violently during that last collision, and this one it's much more violent because of higher velocity, perhaps? Not really too sure. It definitely looked a lot more violent than the previous collision. And let's just watch that shockwave travel across the planet. As the planet heats up into a fiery, scorched... Ice giant. And there we go. And you can see all this gas and stuff orbiting around. A lot of it was ejected out. Time more violently and high, at a higher velocity because, uh, well, the collision was much more violent. Anyways, just a fun little experiment with a little bit of destruction. If you guys like the video, please leave it a like. If you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe. It really does help. And I will see you guys in the next one.